um, Awake, the brand helmed by the former, what was he? Brand director of Supreme, right? Is it brand former brand director? Uh, what's his name again? Is his name on here? Blah, blah, blah. Angelo, yeah. Um, the former Supreme employee has now kind of seek passage new and he's got his own brand called Awake, which is doing some bits and pieces. Again, like I said before, this is the marquee of a, you know, you can tell he comes from good streetwear stock, right? He's streetwear royalty in terms of the way he's evolved and developed the brand as we've kind of seen it, you know, it got introduced to us maybe through a couple of snapbacks, right? Or hooded or hooded tops or maybe t shirts and now look how quickly it's evolved, right? The first slide here, we had this amazing flannel t shirt with this sort of like rose uh embroidery. Is it embroidery or screen print? I'm not too sure. Half tone, half half tone, right? You got this amazing and then the lookbook of course, great casting with the models, photography is awesome, got a great cardigan here on the right. So you can definitely see you, you would have this is kind of quintessential street fair, right? He started off with snapbacks, started off with hoodies, and then essentially he, he always had the goal to kind of get himself to a point where he could, you know, have his own interpretation of what he thinks a cool flannel shirt looks like, what he thinks a cool mohair jumper or cardigan looks like. And that's what I love about street wear, the slow, modif mo mo slow methodical approach um, these brands have to kind of evolving over time. They don't rush. Um, they don't take it. They don't take the easy route. They kind of hope and pray that they're, customers especially the people that are fans of the brand are going to stick with them um as they kind of evolve over time and i think awake have kind of done that in a really cool way because i still think of them as a mostly a youth orientated brand right i don't think people many people my age probably wear awake but they kind of done this weird thing where they're able to kind of straddle both ends so a guy like me is interested to it and obviously they kind of cater to the sort of like young kids that are coming up and want something that is maybe adjacent with supreme but isn't probably as loud or as bait as supreme um but yeah this is their uh lookbook for spring summer 20 uh full collection here featured we can maybe read some of it the text i'll go for the business go for the pictures fuck the text but yeah the pictures so uh, that, that that flannel i'd wear the hell out of it with the rose um sort of embroidery throughout the middle of the chest or sort of half print um and the cardigan they, they started to do some really great outwear pieces in terms of jackets. The varsity they did for all the coach jacket sort of thing they did from a couple of seasons ago was really impressive. So you can definitely see they've kind of cranking up their pressure in that regard. Um, great sweatshirt there with the Awake logo. Could be really nicely done. And of course, this sort of like classic Hawaiian -y, what what do you call these shirts? These sort of like short sleeve shirts that everyone's doing at the moment. This great pattern again, really nicely done there. Um, Again, that same jacket in a different color looks amazing. Sort of like a lucky eight or lucky, what's it called? Lucky bull. What are the jackets called? They, they're very popular in New York, right? During the 80s or 90s. I forgot the style of it, but it reminds me of that. But yeah, very nicely done too. Um, they've done well with these sort of like tonal hoodies with the sweatpants. It's beautiful. And it's very under, it's a very under, um, it's a very underserviced segment of streetwear. I think that's where maybe Kiff really slid in and did really well. That sort of like, do you call it loungewear or leisure wear, whatever it's called? Where I mean, just like sweat sweatpants and sweat tops, right? Because I think if you're Supreme, it's really impossible if you're a kid buying Supreme to you know to get yourself a suit because most of those things are going to sell out straight away. And any other brand that's doing them, you probably won't. And maybe Pat is a good example, right? Doing good tracksuit sets, but I think that's something that is maybe maybe only maybe uh, popular with European clients. Maybe I don't know how people, American kids are with sweatshirts and sweat tracksuits and shit, but I do think a lot more brands should be catering to kids that want to wear stuff like this, right? Maybe with a big varsity jacket or some kind of a Larry jacket on or whatever it may be, but there is a kind of a market for it. Uh, sweatsuits that aren't, you know, your regular champion shit or whatever. And they've done really well with these ones. So one in purple and one in sort of like a lilac -y, Tiffany kind of sort of colorway. Really, really well done again. And I love the, and I love the addition as girl with this sort of like embroidered logo that he was always really popular to do here. I love it. I think it looks really cool. Maybe it's a kind of nod to his era of Supreme, but I love that embroidered logo. A great denim hat. What's that logo here on the hat? Is that William Dupuy reading a book or something? I think so. Um, maybe it's a maybe it's a, maybe it's a pun, a little play on words of the awake, right? Stay work, maybe reading a book or something. I'm not too sure. Um, I love this as well. A little Valentine's t shirt sort of thing. Awake is special. Um, very Hispanic in that regard, right? With the roses and beard. Oh, they got Nelson Mandela t shirt. Brilliant. Well done there. Same print on the hat we got in there. They got like a Vic 
Vicks Vapor Rug um, t shirt, which I'm assuming has some sort of connection with him growing up. I'm assuming there's a great story behind that Vicks Vapor Rug t shirt. I'm pretty sure a black on black hoodie with the Awake logo. I think that's going to be very popular. Tono hoodie. And then you've got this great t shirt on the left. In God we trust, in the president we don't. <laughs> that's amazing, right? It says a lot without saying anything, really. And it's probably something that could. Um, it's not going to. Uh, that's the problem you think for yourself if you start making Trump negative sort of merch or clothing, right? You sort of, sort of what's that word called? Um, you sort of stuck in the moment in time, right? In a few years, it's probably a bit corny wearing a t shirt with somebody decapitating Trump's head. It looks a bit preposterous. But I guess when you just write the president, everyone kind of gets what you mean and who you're talking about. Uh, well, very, very nicely done. And maybe there's a player on it as well with the kind of bright future color of it, right? Based on, you know, Orange Man Bad, maybe. You don't know. Um, you've got another one, Awake NYC. This kind of reminds me of like a Bad Brains logo. I'm not too sure if that's the same to it, but I really like that. Um, and yeah, and this great one. So this is probably my favorite one they made, actually. It's got it's got this illustration of a of a of a skull or someone's head. Um, looks maybe similar to something that you've seen maybe in 1984 by George Orwell. And at the back it says, "I'm not falling for that shit again." And at the front, I think maybe it's got the same thing. And then it's got civilization, the uncivil civilizing the uncivilized. And the other side it's got Awake New York. That's going to be very popular. That long sleeve T-shirt, I'm pretty sure. Um, so let's finish this quote. The text here for the accompanying post. It says after be after beginning the year with collaborative release alongside Carhartt Whip and Reebok and Awake, and White has now presented its full spring 2020 collection. The collection features a number of signature Awake NYC pieces and designs such as this classic logo hoodies, t-shirts, alongside a selection of more eye-catching items. A standout theme throughout the collection is Awake NYC's collaboration with artist Sean Friedman, which includes a silk camp cat. Uh, so camp shirt, sorry, and five panel camp cap. Okay, awesome. That's that's what we saw earlier. Elsewhere, key pieces in the collection also include a colorful mohair cardigan, embroidered roses flannel shirt, and a cordray chinel patch baseball jacket. As well as the signature hoodie pieces, Angela Basket label also presents a range of graphic pieces, standout prints from its 20 spring 2020 collection, include ranges political slogans the God we trust and present we don't, as well as a quote from Nelson Mandela and the civilizing the uncivilized pieces. Take a look. Um, this is due to come out when it says yeah the collection will launch in Awake NYC's web store uh, Dover Street Market site on 19th 11am and the Dover Street Market Ginza also May 22nd and last two cents man they're hitting all the markets isn't it well done to Angela man some great distribution there isn't it on web store Dover Street Essence bloody hell smashing it so yeah like I said I think Essence is, um, sorry um, Awake uh, Pata said Stussy there's so many great um supreme alternatives if kids like that kind of aesthetic right the quintessential streetwear brands right maybe even stray rats is a good example out there for kids to cop um and definitely awake is definitely up there i think they're gonna do some great stuff going forward and this again this is not this might be i don't know what season is this fifth fourth season and they've already kind of evolved to this level just imagine what they're gonna do in a few more years isn't it wants to get um a bit more wind in their sails and some more money in the bank to really explore some different uh pieces and areas it'll be really interesting to see what they do because i'm sure andrew's going to do some more stuff outside of just clothing as well right in terms of empowering the youth and all that good stuff so um yeah definitely a brand to watch definitely a brand to kind of back in this kind of um formative time and you know if there's somebody you are going to trust with your money i'd imagine it'd be someone like him and what he's doing so yeah definitely check them out man I'm a big fan of what he does with the brand, 100%.